Might be a possibility, you know, when you listen to some of the some of the folks who know a lot about how this stuff works. Um, we had been out to Oregon State in the, the regional back in '11, um, so we got a pretty good idea how the field plays, uh, what kind of an atmosphere they have. They do a great job, like most teams do when they host regionals. So. Uh, I've had a chance to see Oregon State play several times on TV in the Pac-12 network. Um, had a chance to see Michigan play here um, recently as well. So we're not starting from scratch in our preparation. We've had a chance to at least get our eyeballs on them a little bit. We did play Michigan a couple years ago out in Santa Clara. So we got a feel for like their system and how they like to run their game and so on. So um, we'll have a couple days to prepare for them and then we'll get out there and have a good practice day. And I assume we're playing on Friday. I didn't even check the dates. I know some, some uh, regionals start on Saturday, some start on Friday, so I assume we're a Friday game. What do you know about Michigan's maybe personnel and some of the things they like to do? Well, offensively, they're very active on the bases, so they're an action team. Um, I believe I was checking their stats this morning, actually. Uh, I think they have 88 stolen bases, which is a lot. Um, so they're going to be very active on the bases. They were two years ago when we played them. Um, and then they, they have good frontline pitching. You know, uh, good starting pitching. I'm not familiar with who we'll see yet, but well coached, um, physical team. So uh, I think we'll match up well with them because I consider us to be a physical team too that can take away the running game. We've done a pretty good job of that here in the last second half of the season. It's, uh, you uh, been in this situation where you've had to watch this show not knowing what was going to happen. It sounds like you had a pretty good feel of where you might end up, who you might play. And obviously you knew you were in, so what, yeah. how different is it to watch this thing with a little bit more certainty than uncertainty? Well, it's a lot different. You know, my stomach wasn't churning. I knew we were going to see our name pop up there. There was probably two or three sites that we were going to go to. Um, <clears throat> and looking at how the things were going to shake out, we thought Oregon State might be a 15th or 16th seed, and we thought we would be one of the top two seeds, that there was a possibility that we, we would match up. So I wasn't surprised. Um, but there was a couple other sites I thought we might end up as, as well. But, um, yeah, we knew we were in. So the, that, that adrenaline rush you get when your name gets up there wasn't quite there. I'm not sure how the players responded to it, but um, it's still a pretty cool thing. You know, we haven't seen it up there a lot recently, and, and, um, and it's, it's always good to have a Monday 11 o'clock uh, viewing party. That's a good thing. Ed, we haven't talked to you since you won the Big East uh, tournament. How well is your team playing? I mean, at the end of the season here and after winning the Big East tournament. You know, we're finding in interesting ways to win. To be honest with you, we, you know, we we had to score a lot of runs out in, in Cincinnati. We did. We played Villanova the weekend before. You know, we won a game four to one. Uh, this team has won a, a lot of different ways. Um, they're very resilient. And even though we had a pretty good feeling that we were in, without winning the conference tournament. This team wanted to do that. They wanted to be the first one that won the conference tournament in the Big East. And they went out there and they played with a ton of energy. I don't know if you could see that on the, on the broadcast when you watched, but I was very proud of how they conducted themselves. It's a tough venue to play in. It really goes against a lot of stuff that we preach within our program on how to execute the game, but they still found a way. So um, it's good that we've had a, uh, I'm glad we played Saturday night. We had yesterday off. We're going to take today off and then we'll get back to work tomorrow. The fact that you guys took some early punches in those games at the Big East tournament, but quickly came back—I mean, you know, it's a different scenario. But can that be beneficial, knowing the fact that if you guys do get down this weekend, it's going to be nothing that phases you? Well, all those—you know—that's why you play a regular season. You know, you come—you come across a lot of different situations, and we did get behind in all three games. And but we've been behind probably too much, in my opinion. I'd like to see us get out in front a little bit more often. But there's never been any panic in the dugout, and that's what you get with a veteran team. A veteran team that believes in their offense and you can just tell when they come in the dugout hey three's not going to be enough you know after we gave up three to um, Xavier on Saturday they came in hey three's not going to win the game and it wasn't a it wasn't any more excitement in their voice other than what I just shared with you so they um, you know they've, they've had a lot of comeback wins and, and all these scenarios help you for the games we're about to play these are going to be different um, than what we've experienced so far. You didn't really have to, uh, you know, other than Sikowski, no one really extended themselves too much in terms of pitching staff and certain things. This is maybe as good of a situation as we've had from a pitching perspective going into a regional. You know, I said that the last couple of weeks. I think we're in good shape. 
you know, we haven't had a starter miss a start, which is good. We haven't had a bullpen guy. We've had to sit out an extra day or two because he's tender. Uh, we've really tried to protect our arms as much as we can for this opportunity here. When we get a chance to play in a regional, we wanted to go in there with a, with a full deck. And I think we have a full deck. I mean, we have everybody available. And, you know, obviously Mitch will start the Friday game, Mitch Reagan, and get us into that game, hopefully. And, and uh, you know, we'll play like a weekend series. You know, even though we'll be playing different teams, we're going to go in there and do everything we can to be successful on that Friday afternoon game. You've had a lot of good teams taking, taking them to regionals. How's this team's confidence compared to some of the other teams you've had? Yeah, it's pretty high. You know, again, it's a veteran team. Um, they really believe in their offense. Um, I think if we can pitch out there a little bit, it's a turf field, so we're familiar with turf. We played on turf this year. We practice on turf on campus a lot, so that won't be a much of an adjustment for us. But it's just it's a little different team. It's a little more offensive than what we've had. And I think we faced a lot of good pitchers this year because obviously in the regionals you're going to face a top arm. And we found a way to score some runs off top arms this year. So. Um, we're probably just a little more offensive than some of the teams we've had. But I know at this level, too, you got to pitch and defend. And that's what we've always hung our hat on, so we got to pitch and defend this weekend. There's a prospect of potentially matching up with Cincinnati and Scott Google. You know him well and know his system well. I mean, how exciting is that kind of just to get an opponent where you know what their system is? Well, it's funny, you know, because uh, Scott sent me a text on Sunday morning congratulating the team on their successes. I didn't even realize he was playing that afternoon. And then yesterday afternoon, we had some downtime, so I'm watching the game. It's Cincinnati against Connecticut. And with no idea that we potentially would match up with Cincinnati, but they are they really are swinging the bat right now. They're playing at a very high level. And one thing about Coach Guggins, he runs the bases. Very, very aggressive on the base pass. So I think that's going to be a common theme this weekend. And it's something that we'll start preparing tomorrow in our practices. Is we got to control the running game because I know Coach likes to do that a lot, and he's carried that same thing over from Xavier to Cincinnati. So, But they're a hot team, and it's it's never about who you play, it's when you play them. And right now, Cincinnati's playing really at a high level. You mentioned the running game with Michigan, especially with Cincinnati, obviously, where you really got power. What, in your opinion, are the keys from a strategic standpoint in controlling the running game others, trying to get others down? Well, I think um, once we read up on them a little bit and study them a little bit, you know, we've got to be selective in running some pitch outs. Um, get a feel for when they like to do some of that stuff. And, and what a lot of coaches do, and you know, I can't speak for these three guys, but if you can guess right once or twice, you can pretty much shut down that stuff for the game. So I'm interested and looking forward to preparing a lot, reading up on, on, on Michigan to find out what tendencies they have. And again, it helps that we played them two years ago. Even though the personnel is different, it helps to know the system that the coach likes to run. And I think we got a pretty good feel for that. We lost to them by one run out in Santa Clara two years ago when we had a bunch of freshmen playing. Will Robertson was a freshman. Isaac Collins was a freshman that year. And uh, so this won't be entirely uh, new for us. We've uh, we've seen them a little bit. And you've probably seen a lot of Oregon State, right? I mean, you're, you're, you're a CWF guy. You make, make sure to follow some of the actions. What do you, what do you know about that program? Well, I mean, obviously, the they're, obviously they were incredibly impressive last year with them number one draft choices all over the place. They, they got maybe the player of the year behind the plate. Would probably be the number one draft choice in the, in the draft when it comes up here shortly. So he's going to be a force, a switch hitting catcher that can handle situations. And he can, he's a big time player, which means he can hit in those tough situations. Um, I've seen him a couple times on TV. They don't quite have the same kind of offense that they've had previous years. But here's what Oregon State can do. They can execute the game which means they can bunt, they safety squeeze, they hit and run, they steal bases that are meaningful, not just steal bases to add to your stat sheet. They really have a good feel of how to play the game. And then their pitching is really what separates them a lot. And they have a tremendous pitching coach. Uh, they lost one of their top pitchers to an arm situation early in the year, but Oregon State's always relied heavily on their pitching. And I'm sure we'll see that again this weekend. Yeah. I think it was maybe three or four weeks ago, to be honest. I didn't sense that at all the last couple of weeks. I didn't sense anybody was playing for the scouts or playing for you know, the draft status. They really have 
bought into the team concept. Do whatever I can to help the team be successful that particular day. So I don't think that'll come into play at all. Most of that stuff is in the books already. Most of the scouts have made their determination as to where they got you in, second round, fifth round, eighth round, whatever. So anything these players do this weekend really isn't going to impact that at all. And I think they understand that. So I didn't sense that at all this weekend. We were out in Cincinnati. I don't think it will come into play this weekend either. Do you have a practice schedule planned out for when you guys? Well, we hope to practice tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning mm -hmm. on campus, obviously. And then once we make our travel arrangements, we'll have an idea. I'd like to practice Wednesday before we leave and then get out there and practice on Thursday and then obviously play the, play the series. So, uh, But tomorrow, I think it's going to be dry at 10.30 in the morning, and that's what we're shooting for. Now, that could adjust if the weather changes because we have to get outside tomorrow and practice, and we have to get back on turf because the game's just a little bit different on turf. Is the ideal one-day prep out at that location? Is that good for yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll be out there on Thursday. I think there's a conference call tomorrow, and I'm sure they'll lay all that out. Well, just your thoughts of uh, where you're going in the regional and facing Michigan. What are your thoughts? Um, it's awesome being able to be able to go out back to the West Coast. Uh, some fami some some familiar uh, place for me, and uh, play Michigan. Don't know much about them, but we'll do some film and uh, read up on the pitching. I mean, it's an exciting time right now. Oregon State, uh, the regional site for Valley. So, what's that mean? It's awesome uh, being able to play over there this summer. Uh, being pretty familiar with the field and everything. It's uh, it's good to be able to go back there for sure. Face in Michigan in the opening round. Just your thoughts on the Wolverines? Um, you know what? I don't know too much about them, but uh, seen them in the highlight reel a couple times. They did pretty well over here at TD this past weekend, so uh, we're excited to get to face some uh, good army. Looks sounds like. What's the, what's the feeling like? You guys knew you were in being an automatic qualifier, but still to, to see your name pop up. What kind of what's what's that feeling like? It's been a while for Creighton. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's awesome being able to see that name pop up on ESPN uh, as a two seed. It's just uh, shows us it shows us that we've accomplished something, and uh, it's pretty rewarding to be able to see that. You guys got down a little bit in the Big East tournament games early on, but you guys fought back really quickly. I mean, can that be beneficial, knowing that you know it's, nothing's going to surprise you, and if you do get down, it's it's not the end of the world type of thing this weekend? Yeah, definitely. I mean, all season we've been fighting. I mean, we've been able to come back uh, starting from the very first weekend. I mean, we've fought our way back into games. Uh, been able to compete no matter the score, no matter uh, what it means. So it's definitely a good confidence booster going in, knowing if we're down in the last seventh, eighth, or ninth inning, we'll be able to get some good ABs and uh, hopefully make it a little bit closer game. How much momentum do you guys have going into this NCAA tournament? Because you have really played well in the last year. Quite a bit. I mean, yeah, like you said, we're gelling well as a team right now. Uh, we've been playing well this past month, and uh, I think our best baseball is ahead of us, so we're excited. You guys have talked a lot, I'm sure internally, about this moment being getting a chance at a regional. Now that you're here, I mean, what's the feeling? Does it do you feel does it feel like this is what you set out to do, or, or do you feel like you uh, you're a team that I don't know? Does it feel real that, that you've made it to this point? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, being able to see our name up there, like I've said earlier, uh, it's definitely surreal. But uh, I mean, knowing that we're a good team and we able to compete with these guys and uh, hopefully take a take a series win here in Corvallis and see uh, see what we have holding the in the future. We haven't talked to you since you got the award Wednesday for player of the year. What did that mean to you? It was awesome. Um, just being my first year here at Creighton, uh, being able to swing the bat well enough to get that award. I mean, it's a pretty prestigious award, so uh, I was definitely honored to be able to receive that award. I mean, you look at this year, what's it meant to you? It's been awesome. I mean, uh, it's been everything I could ask for. I mean, playing over there at TD, uh, met, meeting some of my new best friends. I mean, it's been been a blessing. How do you balance? How do, as a player, how, how do you balance sort of the individual goals and the team goals? Obviously, there's everyone here is connected to try to do something, but mm -hmm. you also you're not going to be done playing baseball after this. How do you sort of like orient your mind so that you're in a proper place mentally to to be at your best? Uh, you know what? I mean, I just try to keep our keep my goals and myself. And uh, as a team, we have our own goals, right? And we're trying to. I mean, we all talk about them every day, so it's pretty easy. I mean, we, we, this group of guys too, it's pretty easy to gel well, and uh, everyone gets along really well. So I think that's helped quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thanks, Jake. Uh, what were your thoughts when you saw Creighton come up on the screen? Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. 
going to play, well, not playing Oregon State right away, but going to their site, defending national champs. Pretty cool. Um, cool experience. Um, still got Michigan ahead of us, so that'll be a cool experience, too, to go play another good team. So we'll see what they got. You're going to face Michigan on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, just your thoughts facing the Wolverines. Uh, I, yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about them. I watched them a little bit in the Big Ten tournament when we weren't playing this past weekend. Um, they got a good team. They got a lot of good players, a lot of athletes, especially their leadoff hitter. Um, so we'll see what they got. But um, we'll do a lot of studying ourselves as coach will show us a lot of different things over the week and stuff so I'll be ready to go I got some stuff I got to do today as far as studying up on them I got to do my work as far as throwing too so a lot of stuff to do yet but yeah I'm excited to play them. Did you identify anything from your last start in terms of uh, maybe how they were able to barrel up yeah. the balls maybe why you were so frustrated or something like that? Yeah um, I think first of all just kind of going back to the drawing board just getting back to who I am so I'm glad we're not playing at Prasco Park anymore. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a porch, so um, won't be playing there. So that's kind of nice. Uh, just playing there is kind of having that in the back of your mind, like, oh man, I just I can't give up too much here. But you know, I can't pitch like that. And I kind of felt like I was pitching lack of aggression this past weekend. And I know I got to get away from that and get back to who I am. Um, so it's going to be that same kind of thing this weekend, just getting back to who I am, just being aggressive. But the fact, but the fact that you guys have such a good offense, I mean, yeah. does that comfort you a little bit knowing, hey, if, if I get down a run, the boys have my back? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to have that, obviously. It's not something I, I want to rely on, like, oh, yeah, I can afford to give up a run here. You know, that's not just who I am as a pitcher. But um, it is nice to have in your back pocket. It's nice to know that you can turn around and look at the boys behind you and they're going to put some runs up. In the ninth inning against Xavier, yeah. were you warming up to, war to, to yeah. go in just in case? Yeah, you know? coach told me to be ready. So. And, and you I were good? I, I was perfectly yeah. ready. Yeah, I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I took care of my arm for the next couple of days more than I ever have, so I was ready to go, just absolutely. Because yeah. yeah. okay. yep. that might that scenario might come up in a regional. You yeah, know, like I know, yeah. Friday to Monday exactly. or something like that. Yeah, you got to be ready to go anytime, um, especially, you know, when it's the biggest game of the year at that point. Yeah. It's like, hey, you can't just – shy away from it just because like oh my arm's a little sore so I took care of myself I was really ready to go mentally I was locked into so yeah. coach service talked about the morale of the team that everybody's locked in mm -hmm. uh, how do you sense this team What's the deal? I think the same kind of thing and it's not just something that he says because I think it is true um, this is a team that we've never experienced any of this kind of thing before so yeah there might be some sort of distractions and stuff like that but you know coach the way he runs our program the way he runs our practices he really gets us ready for these kind of moments and I think anybody who's ever played for him anyone who's ever experienced being around him would say that same kind of thing so you know in practice every single day we got that same kind of mentality that hey just go out there be who you are play the way we know how to play and don't get away from who you are as a player don't get away from who we are as a team play the same way every time doesn't matter if it's the national championship or if it's the first game of the season so yeah we're ready to go a lot of guys on the mound last week and if they perform the way you did, yeah. it can kind of yeah. you know, sink in. If it, if it yeah. leads to a loss, then it kind of is a regret. Yeah. How eager are you to, to know that you have one more chance to get back on the mound? Yeah, I'm really eager. Yeah, I'm not only just because it's my last, maybe last experience, who knows, um, but also to just kind of like cover up what I did. You know, I wasn't ever very happy with that. So I want to go out there and give my team a better effort. I want to give myself a better effort. I want everybody to – I want us to win, obviously. I mean, but I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't happy with ha what happened. So I want to cover that up, and I want to get back to who I am as a pitcher. And that's, I, I believe, being successful.